Hi there, everyone. My name is Amy Coleman. My talk today is on social media and how it is the pathway to success for the youth today. I'd like to start by defining social media. And dictionary definition is websites and other online means of communication that are used by large groups of people to share information and to develop social and professional contacts. I agree with this because I think social media is the core of the internet where people can come together and collaborate and elaborate and discuss and create and like and comment and subscribe and all of these different things that bring people together and create some kind of result. Let's also just define the meaning of success. It is a performance or achievement that is marked by success as measured by the attainment of goals. That is much more vague. Where in social media we have it's this and this and this, that does this and this and this. Success can be literally the attainment of any goal whatsoever. The success in the track meet, because your goal was to win the track meet. Success in life, because you attained everything that you wanted, which is big and vague. In American society, we are obsessed with the idea of success. We are almost unhealthily obsessed with it because there is so much stress in school, in career, in life, in love, in wealth, to become successful. And it's almost pressured upon everyone to be successful and to not to fail of success. Let's move to the side for a minute and talk about the I generation. Who are they? What are they? What are they doing? The I generation are the people who were born between mid 90 1995 to the early 2010s, 2012, 2013. They're called the I generation because they have never known life without the internet. I was born in 2001 myself, and I, the earliest I remember is AOL, which is American Online. And even today, I spend a lot of time on my phone and on social media because it's what I know to do, it's what I know best. This has also been perceived very negatively by previous generation, generation, generation Y and Generation X, because they've lived life without the internet before. They don't see why it's so necessary for us to always be on our phones. So how do these three things combine? The generation, the social media, and the, and the success. Well, the app generation spends all their time on their phones, on our phones, since I am a part of this generation. We have a biker who's biked since he was six, and he's been biking and now he's 26. He's been doing that for 20 years. He's gotten good at it, what he likes to do. When you have somebody who's been on the internet their entire life, it's what you do, it's what you like to do, and you're good at it. There has to be a way for us to become successful in something that we like to do and something that we're good at. So let's break that down a little bit. We can give success to those who are already successful. Advertising, marketing, those are very traditional means of careers that involve social media, promoting media for the big companies. For example, I shop a lot of Hot Topic. I get their promotional emails. I got one the other day that made me laugh a little. It said, hey, that thing you were looking at, you should buy it. I had been looking at some sweatpants on their online site, and they had tracked that, sent me an email because it was their marketing. They wanted me to buy from them. That also goes into the topic of online shopping, which is an epidemic that I'm very proud to be a part of. I love online shopping. It's Amazon and Redbubble are my best friends. Also to the point where you can buy your groceries online and pick them up. It's such an epidemic that it's so common for this new generation to find it easier and less complicated to go online and buy something versus to go in a store and to talk to somebody. However, that doesn't mean that we become less social, and I'll get to that in a minute. Let's also talk about giving success to those to become successful. YouTube, for example, is probably the biggest example of that. You ask any little kid nowadays, and they will say, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up. Well, what does that mean? Literally anything. You could go on YouTube, you could teach somebody how to blacksmith. You could go on YouTube, you could teach somebody how to speak Mandarin. You could teach somebody how to do makeup. You could vlog your daily life. That's a big thing on YouTube now can literally be anything, and that's also the beauty of it. There are people that come together to enjoy similar things on any type of video. You can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. For example, you could play video games on YouTube and get paid for it. You could watch people play video games on YouTube and have them get paid for it. Or, 
you could watch somebody make a video game. For example, there's one on YouTube that's called Yandere Simulator. And the way it works is that each time he's developed the game a little more, he's pre he presents it to the audience the, on YouTube. And he tells them, is, did you like how this was made? Do you like the updates that we made? And it'll have such a quick response when it's finally released because the audience helped make the game. So they want to play what they made. You can make short films. You can do makeup. You can do literally anything that you wanted to do. It also helps the social aspect because people make friends on the internet, as scary as that may sound. You can connect with people, you can collaborate with people. Social media is a new form where people can connect with people and have opportunities that they never had before. You can talk to somebody that you hadn't talked to in years through Facebook. There's a little win to this as well. Talking to old friends. I learned how to do a fantastic British accent through YouTube, through the porn acting class that I had many years ago. I learned how to do my own makeup. I learned how to style myself through YouTube and through Instagram. I even learned how to speak a little bit of Korean. I'm not going to try that because I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> so to wrap it all up, why do we care? What is the point of bringing up social media? What is the point of bringing up success in the I generation? Well, as I said before, with the biking example, it's what we're good at. It's what we do. So why can't we find a way to have all of it come together into one thing that we can make for ourselves. Social media is either approached negatively, as an instance, rotting your brain, you're going to go cross-eyed by looking at that screen too long. Or it's approached cautiously, as it could literally be anything. Which is true, it could literally be anything. The AI generation is claimed to be the most innovative, the most entrepreneur, the most determined, the most ambitious, and the most hardworking generation yet. And we are full utmost potential to become the next leaders and the next innovators and the next creators of the world. We have so much at our fingertips as well that we get criticized. We, somebody in Seoul, South Korea, could talk to somebody in Mumbai and they could make a robot together that could help the world. I could become a politician in America, but at this age, say I made friends with somebody in Hong Kong who became a politician there. We would have good relations between those countries because we are already friends. And I think that is the best success that social media can bring, is the connection of people all together. Thank you for your time.